What's up? What's up? What's up? It is Travel Diva Mila, and I am still, I think I'm seven days in on my 15-day cruise to Hawaii. We just um, ported here at Kauai early this morning. I've been back on the boat for a couple of hours because I wanted to have a little relaxation time. And I am in the adults only. Now, if anybody cruises on Carnival, you know the adults only. They have them on all of their boats. Um, and this one's called, well, they're all called Serenity. Um, in the back of my boat of Carnival Miracle. I am actually um, relaxing and getting my tan. I want to actually show you guys the sky first. Look at God. Not a cloud in the sky. So it has been quite beautiful today, considering it was only 60 degrees something this morning. But as I always say, it's almost seven degrees in Ohio today. So I'm actually winning. So this is actually a good thing. So I wanted to tell you guys, um, there's so many little highlights um, I completely forgot to do. Uh, my first day, you might've watched the Maui video. The Maui video, I completely forgot. As if you're able to cruise in um, to Hawaii, you guys, the whales, they come up right to the boat. Like it was just amazing. I didn't even catch it on video because I was sitting down on the deck, just actually just taking the whole uh, environment, the whole look in of Hawaii. This is my first time here. I'm trying to do all 50 states by 50. I have seven, well, now it'll be six years left after this year, but I'm looking forward to so many different things. But the whale watching is amazing. Um, the loco moco, and I hope I'm saying that right. It's like a gravy on top of, um, uh, ham hamburger patty on rice with egg on top. I actually didn't want to taste it, but I actually tasted it and I loved it. Definitely put that on your list to try. There is a whole bunch of actual uh, seafood dishes that you can try, but I'm allergic to shellfish. So I actually will not be trying those because I do not want an emergency room visit while I'm visiting the beautiful state of Hawaii. This is my 40th state. Um, if you have watched any of my previous videos, you have known that um, just last year I knocked off three more states um, and now I actually have actually 10 left. So I am super enthused about doing this. Um, I have seven years left, even though COVID pushed me behind. I probably would have been done before 50, but you know, just as a travel diva, I gotta do what I gotta do. So I'm sitting out, just having myself a good time with all these darn people here. And I'm gonna do one little turnaround so you guys can see um, real quickly. This actual cruise ship, and I've cruised with Carnival for years, actually has um, a pool in their adults only. They usually have two jacuzzis, um, and it's very, very well stocked. They have a huge bar, plenty of seating. I was really, I had attitude because I thought everybody would be on the island. Um, and I came out here, was, everybody was out here. They were in the pool, they were in the jacuzzi, they were in the lounge chairs, but I still had lounge chairs available, which oftentimes does not happen if you are late coming out on a beautiful day. So I wanted to make sure I touch bases and let you guys know about that. I am a uh, official Carnival Cruiser. If you do know me uh, personally, you know that I am trying to get to my platinum status. Um, and I have plenty of my friends that are actually uh, Royal Caribbean, uh, cruisers and there is now two of my friends that are actually virgin uh, voyages um, they're the new cruise line that's adults only but do you guys know that you can take three carnival cruises for the same price that you're taking for a five-day cruise on virgin will I do it absolutely because I love an all-inclusive package as I go to a lot of all-inclusive resorts when I fly in so anyways I'm gonna sign off but I wanted to come in real quick and let you know I'm in my peaceful place by the water by the water so I'm by the pool and the jacuzzi and I'm by the beach. I cannot wait to show you all the different videos that I have done. Um, and this is actually a wonderful island. I'm checking it completely off the list because it's so far to get to. So will I go come back here again? Maybe, maybe not. But I have all these other Caribbean islands I plan on going to. Uh, I think I've been to 16 so far and I still plan on hitting so many more. So. Um, like I said, life is short, so I really, really want to go and go places, different places every time. So I probably will be going just back to my Caribbean um, areas um, of different islands so I can do all that. Anyways, aloha.